Hi guys, it's Millie. Welcome back to another video. In this week's video, I'm going to be doing a super quick 48 hours in Brisbane. Um, Brisbane is where we dropped the camper van off just before we flew back to the UK. So we had two days there. Um, we stayed in a really nice apartment and tried to stuff everything into two days of exploring. So I hope you enjoy and let's get on with the video. So we've started our day off. We've just parked the camper van up. Um, by a cafe called um, Love Hill, Love Well, sorry, which is over there. And look at these amazing views that you get of the city of Brisbane. And it explains it a little bit here. That's us. And that'll be us tomorrow. So yeah, time for a coffee and then to tackle the camper van. So guys, uh, coffee for fuel. And now we have to just, just like, pack up the van basically because we've got to give it back at three o'clock today so I'll skip past this bit for you um, and then we can go explore Brisbane very busy it's very great <laughs> I mean this is just very much like Sydney at the moment there's nothing really out of the ordinary so one thing that's really popular in Brisbane, you will see in a second, is all these electric scooters. They've got a bunch of different um, like companies and you just pick them up from the side of the road and you get a little app. So we're gonna try and find one. We found them guys. This is my one. The purple ones are a different company, which we've used before, but the yellow one seems to be the most popular. Off he goes. So we've got the little scooters and we're in the botanical gardens which backs onto like a river. It's the sea. It is the sea. But yeah, we're gonna have a little look around the botanical gardens, which is just outside of the city. How amazing. It's so pretty. This bit really reminds me of Sydney. When you've got all your skyscrapers. Oh that makes me feel dizzy. And we're still on these. We've covered a lot of ground. We've just parked the scooters up for like a li little sec. And we're just gonna come and have a drink in one of these places that we drove past. Um, Cause it's very, they look very nice, very bougie. And it'll be our last little drink in uh, Australia. Just to get an idea of how hot it is. I don't know if you can see that, but they have actual like mist like they're literally sprinkling water on people because it's so hot and humid it is ridiculous okay guys so after a uh afternoon of riding around brisbane on little electric scooters there was so much fun we went and had a little drink and now we've checked into our hotel apartment for the evening and um, they've got a gym and a pool here so we're probably just going to spend the rest of the evening here like this is like a like, luxury for us because obviously we've been in a van for the last six weeks um and then we'll be our flight tomorrow isn't until 11 pm so we'll be spending the whole day in brisbane um exploring so we'll carry on with the vlog then i'm gonna do a tiny little apartment tour so you come in du, 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 du. we've got a little kitchen here it's so strange because it's a hotel but it is actually an apartment We've already got so much stuff out on the side because we have to rejig everything um, into like, oh, long story anyway. Um, yeah, big TV. We've got a big balcony um, that looks out. Let me open it out, actually. Got the aircon pumping, but just to show you, we've got a little out onto the pool which is just over there and then the outside um, the pool is literally right there Tom and then it leads into the bedroom which you've also got a balcony balcony there lovely big queen bed hello um, and then it leads into the ensuite where you've got you know toilet, a shower and a sink, which is what you would expect to get from a hotel. So that's us, this is our setup for the next 12, 16 hours. 
fine, I cannot wait. Literally, it, oh, I've just realized you can see the sea over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to relax. So this is the little gym that um, facilities. It's pretty cool. They've, um, I don't know, it's, it's much nicer than I thought. They've got all of this slot, you know. All the, like, I would say all the basics and even more. They've even got a bit outside, Tom. Yeah. They've got um, an ab workout thing over there. I think they're both ab workout things. Time for the first gym session in almost three weeks. Just to show you the pretty colours. The evening. I feel like Brisbane is very well known for its skylines. And then you've got the pool down there. I love it when it's like reflected in like that. Good morning guys. Second day in Brisbane today. Uh, we have just left the hotel. It's midday. We had a late checkout. Packed everything up for going home this evening. But outside the hotel, two little scooters. So we're going to drive these into town uh, to get some food. Just ride straight. Ride straight past. come over the bridge in our little scooters and there's a big Brisbane sign. I don't even know they had that here. We're gonna try and find the little man-made swimming pool just to have a little um, just to have a little look of it. Um, but yeah, this is cool. So this is called South Bank of Brisbane and you've got a big, which is funny because it looks like the London Eye and there's a South Bank in London. Um, we've just parked up the scooters, we're gonna have a little bit of a walk to the aquatic center, which is the outdoor swimming area. See if we can find that. Have a little paddle. Very pretty. Also, just for a little bit of drama, I left my hair straightener in the camper van that we gave back yesterday. So we may have to make a detour and go back to the camper van site if they will open it up for us. So this is their beach. Um, Brisbane has no beaches, no natural beaches. So if you are hot and you wanna go for a swim, it has to either be in a, like a hotel pool or you have to come here. It's pretty huge to be honest. You've got all the way over here and then you've got the a beach and the and a bit on the other side as well. Better than nothing. <laughs> it's very much like the one in Cairns, but better because it's like, <laughs> 10 times as big um, and obviously in Kenj you can't actually swim in the water anyway so even if they do have beaches you can't use them so South Bank is my new favourite place in Brisbane look how pretty it is you have like a really cute little garden cafe over here and look at this look at this tiny dot I don't know where his mum is It's so pretty. The little honeybee. Very pretty. We've just come across this museum and it's like an immersive experience museum. So we're just gonna walk in and just see see if we can have a little end, uh, a little look at it. So it's an immersive museum. She said that we are viewing. Do we sit down, Tom? Do you want to sit down?
we're still in South Bank and there's a cute little market on. It's Sunday afternoon, so I imagine it's like a Sunday market that's <laughs> bless me. <laughs> that has um run all day. But yeah, we just watched um some live music and just gonna have a look around the markets. It's three o'clock because we've got a couple of hours left. Hi guys, so we are at the airport now. Um, so this is going to be the end of my little 48 hours in Brisbane. I'm so glad we went to South Bank today because that was literally like, I think if we hadn't gone to South Bank, I'd been like, oh, Brisbane's like, meh, you know. But South Bank was really, really lovely. So I'm super happy we went there. Um, and yeah, that is it. We're officially in Brisbane airport. We've had our PCR tests. Can't check in until we've Till we've had the results back we did a lateral flow one though like a few days ago just to make sure um that we were in the all clear because we didn't want any nasty surprises when we got here but yeah obviously that result was all good so i'm sure this one will be and then we have to get on a plane for 27 hours it's gonna be bloody awful but wish us luck but thank you guys for watching and i will see you in next week's video which will maybe be based in england bye